Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Today I'm gonna to share with you all of my favorite eyeshadow palettes with packaging that just makes me so happy. Packaging that, you know, it's really pretty to look at. <laughs> and definitely over the years, I have collected things just for the look, just for the packaging, not really necessarily because I want the product itself. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video pull up a chair, grab a drink, grab a snack. This feels like a show and tell type of video, but I hope you guys enjoy it. And without further ado, let's just get right into it. So in no particular order, I'm just gonna start talking about all these beautiful palettes. I'm not gonna go in depth with all of the formulas and whether I like it or not. Pretty much I do like <laughs> all of these palettes I really do love. Uh, it, we're really just focusing on the packaging and how beautiful and amazing it is. So first up, I have this amazing brand, Indie Brand, and they're called Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. I have mentioned and used their products many times in my videos. Absolutely stunning. They definitely do more kind of goth, spooky. I just, I love their packaging so much. It just gets to me. Like, I just want to collect it all. So here is one of their eyeshadow palettes that they're really famous for. It's in the shape of a coffin. And I just love how it looks kind of like a Ouija board. Here's what the back looks like. It's just so spooky. And I just love it. I mean, the design in here is so incredible. Like, look at the moons, the mirrors in the shape of a bat. You've got like some little alien guys here on the side. It's just amazing. I don't know what else to say. I love the packaging on their palettes. They're just fun. They're so fun to look at. I do think the quality is really good. This is probably my favorite eyeshadow palette from them. This is in, the palette name is called Supernatural. It's actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today and I love it. It's a great cool toned palette. Love, love, love. This is called the Hocus Pocus palette. And then I also have the Zombie Defense palette. I know they've discontinued the Hocus Pocus one, um, but pretty much the packaging is the same on these ones. It's like the same, but how fun. Like, I just love this brand. I think they're really genius. The quality is amazing. It is a cardboard material and it is magnetized. I forgot to mention that. I should mention that, right? We're talking about the packaging here. Uh, but it's so cute. I just, I absolutely love it. And I do also want to mention their face palette, which you can use on the face and the eyes, but it has this kind of ghoulish little creature. It looks like a one of those spooky books you would see from like the movie Hocus Pocus or maybe Harry Potter or something. It's just so awesome. I don't know. I just, I really love it. So yeah, really like that brand. If you're looking for really spooky kind of, you know, supernatural type things, definitely check them out. They're a really cool uh, makeup brand. All right, moving on to another indie brand that I absolutely love is Menagerie Cosmetics. I have to say out of all the brands I've tried, their artwork is so stunning. It, it really is like a piece of art. I don't even want to use the palettes because they're so stunning. So this is their Feral eyeshadow palette. And when I say how beautiful this is in person, it's it's stunning you guys i just cannot get over their packaging is so beautiful great quality again this is a cardboard material magnetic closure has a really nice full-size mirror in here but yeah if you're looking for some beautiful amazing quality eyeshadows and also the artwork is just an extra little bonus definitely check them out they're a really great indie brand i also have the Whale Song palette, and I have done reviews by the way, you guys. Um, I will try to link my reviews playlist if you guys wanna check that out. But look at the stunning artwork on here. There's like a mermaid swimming, some whales. And then when you open this one up, it does have like a little quote here at the bottom. But yeah, another stunning palette. Uh, the artwork is just so pretty on these. They have like this pride pride palette with like lions on it they just do beautiful it's very animal themed so if you love animals and you love makeup you have to check out menagerie cosmetics they're amazing so moving on i have gimme glow cosmetics i feel like they do really pretty packaging i wouldn't say that it's as amazing as like menagerie cosmetics but it's still really nice and it definitely 
makes me happy. I don't know. I really like their packaging. It's not overly extravagant, but I had to give them a shout out because I think they have amazing eyeshadow palettes and I do like their packaging. So this one is the Juicy Olive. I love the sort of neon sign. It's just so cute. Really simple on the inside, but here's what the palette looks like. Really great olive palette. And again, cute packaging. You know, it's not anything too flashy, but it is really cute. And so this palette right here, this packaging makes me so excited for the holidays. It's their Christmas morning eyeshadow palette. Everyone raved about this when it first came out and I think it is permanent now, but it looks like a present. How cute is that? It says Christmas morning. It says to you from Give Me Glow. And I think that's just the most adorable thing ever. It's got this beautiful print all the way around it, that kind of plaid print. And it's just so cute. And this palette definitely is a Christmas holiday palette. Really pretty holiday colors in here. Just give you a quick overview. So yes, definitely check them out. Another great indie brand. So the next brand I have to share with you guys is Melt Cosmetics. I mean, I'm sure we all have seen how beautiful the artwork and just how stunning their palettes are. They really are one of my favorite companies when it comes to eyeshadow palettes and I definitely love splurging on a good palette. I just, I'm an eyeshadow palette type of lady. <laughs> so um, the first one here, I have the 27 palette and I love this sort of, it reminds me of a canvas painting, like an oil painting and I just love it. It's so stunning. Here's what it looks like on the inside. I love this palette. I already did a review and I've done tutorials as well. Nice, warm, earthy colors, and it's just stunning. Absolutely love it. But it has a nice weight to it. You know, they're kind of, not like super heavy, but you know what I mean? Like the quality is there. You feel it, you see it, you touch it. It just feels nice. <laughs> All right, I'm getting a little bit weird in here because I love palettes. I'm sorry, you guys. I get really excited talking about eyeshadow palettes. I don't know what it is. The next one is my most recent purchase from Melt. It's the Rust palette. I have done a full review, but I love the packaging on here. Again, it's super simple, but it's so creative and different and unique. I've never seen another palette kind of look like this. Now, this packaging, definitely on the back, you can kind of feel the rust areas are raised and it has a textured feel to it. It's, it's just stunning. I absolutely love it. It says rust here on the front and it's got that kind of rusty colors. It really is just beautiful. I don't know, it's just so simple, but it's still stunning. So here's what the rust palette looks like on the inside. Definitely check out my top favorite fall eyeshadow palettes, you guys. Uh, if you like watching palette videos, you gotta check that one out. And my precious little baby, she goes back into her sleeve. I have to protect her with all of my might. <laughs> Now, I don't know if this is considered a palette, but I think it's so unique. How can I not mention this packaging? I do have one of the Melt stacks. This is the gunmetal stack. I love my smoky cool tone colors. And this one is just super unique and different. So it comes like this and everything is magnetized. So you do have a mirror at the very top. I'm trying to do this without dropping them. But look how genius that is. So different and unique. I don't know of another makeup company that does this with their palettes or eyeshadows. I feel like this is such a unique and fun packaging. Makeup should be fun. You should have fun with it. It should be enjoyable to use, to hold, to play with. I mean, you know, you're going to put it on your face, but still you should enjoy using it. <laughs> so yeah, I just think that's super unique. Love the packaging with these stacks. All right, you guys, I have some very old palettes to share with you, and I was so excited to dig these out of my collection. I do keep these stored in my, my walk-in closet just because I don't use them, and I just sort of display them because they're really pretty. If you remember back in the day, quite a few years back, e.l.f. released all of these Disney palettes and I slowly collected well I wasn't able to get all of them some of them I was so sad I missed out on but I do have quite a few here and I thought you know what let's just take a walk down makeup memory lane <laughs> and since these are beautiful palettes and honestly 
I purchased these as a collector with makeup and with eyeshadow palettes. So here's the first one. This is the Ariel. Uh, it's the Treasure Within Beauty book. I love the artwork on these palettes, you guys. They're so stunning. Try to get up close. And then I love how on the side it actually looks like a book. It has a little A here. It's just, oh, they're so cute. And you can definitely put them on your bookshelf just like this. And that's usually how I store them. And then you open it up and there's even more beautiful little details. There's like this little, uh, like a bookmark. <laughs> you can kind of move out of the way. So there is a little plastic protector in here. I'll just show you what the palette looks like. And there's little things that it comes with like a brush and you've got eyeshadow, bronzer. And then on this side, you have even more details. There's like a little mirror here with a seashell. And then you open it up and there's like a little booklet, like tutorial. I just love these. I was really obsessed. And I think I did a whole series of videos and looks with these palettes. If I can find that playlist, I'll link it below super old footage you guys back before I have like my nice camera now so just warning you the quality is not that great but yeah oh I just love these palettes the next one I have is uh somewhat new this was like the last one that I collected before I stopped <laughs> I had to stop myself but this is the frozen and this one is featuring Elsa this one is so pretty now unfortunately these little binder things that kind of hold the palette on the corner these kind of like break over time unfortunately so that's why this is kind of hanging off here but the artwork is so pretty so there's a really big mirror here so i don't want to blind you but it says don't conceal don't hide really pretty mirror and then you open it up and again, so there's like a picture of Elsa's face and then you flip it over like this and you get another tutorial on the other side. And then this one, I love, oh my gosh, the highlighter here in the middle. I have not touched because of the snowflake. <laughs> I wanted to preserve this one. So here's what the palette looks like. So this one I absolutely love. I'm a huge fan of Sleeping Beauty. I absolutely, it's one of my favorite Disney classics, if you will. So this is the good versus evil. I love how they did the artwork on this one. So I'm just gonna hold it up. The artwork is just stunning. Absolutely stunning with Maleficent. And it's a really cute mirror. I love, I love the kind of dark, kind of almost gothic type style here and this is just so pretty i just love it so again you've got two different looks here i mean look how stunning that is the artwork is just so pretty and then this one is different because it has a couple of lip colors and eyeliner in here as well but you've got your kind of like smoky nighttime look at the bottom and then your like daytime look at the top which was kind of unique from the other palettes so I have this one and then I also have the little set as well. I'll just show you really quickly. Uh, this one came with like a mascara and an eyeliner. Again, the artwork on here was just beautiful. All right, there's only two more left, you guys. I know, I'm sorry, this video is gonna be so long. So the next one I have is based off of Aladdin, another Disney classic, and this is the Jasmine palette. It says, a whole new world beauty book. Oh, again, look how beautiful that is. I love that they were very true to the character in this one. So this one has the same kind of theme where they have a, a mirror with like a cutout shape, but it looks like a lotus flower. It says, you've got your own style. They could have did something a little bit more intriguing there, but that's what that looks like. You open it up and again, you just have a face chart. So last but not least, I do have the Belle beauty book. It says an enchanted tale beauty book based off of the one and only Beauty and the Beast. I just watched the original cartoon version uh, the other day. It was so good. It just brought back so many memories. I love all of the songs in there as well. So again, stunning, 
stunning artwork. I love her hair. It's just so pretty. Same thing, this one has a mirror. It says, for beauty is found within. Yeah, I kind of like this style. I know it's a little annoying with the... Again, it's just for looks. <laughs> but I think it's really, really pretty. And then the palette. This is one of my favorite palettes as well. I love the colors in here. You've got a bronzer, a blush. Oh, so cute. Honestly, I just liked collecting them at the time, so... <laughs> just kind of fun to go through these. I haven't opened them up in so long, so uh, this was just a lot of fun going through all of these palettes. Whoo! All right, you guys, we are finally done. I know this was probably a long video, but it was so much fun going through my eyeshadow palette collection and just picking out the ones that have the most beautiful packaging. Packaging that just really gets me, makes me happy. I don't know, it's just fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, something different today. Uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy. And of course, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to turn on that notification bell. Some of you have told me that you're not getting notified of my new uploads, so make sure to turn on the bell. If you don't want to turn on the bell, just know that I upload on Tuesdays and Fridays, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, same time, same day, every single week, so just know that's when I upload. <laughs> I hope you guys have a really awesome month of October, spooky season, and I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye, guys.